Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second part of lecture number 90 from our bootcamp series. In the first part, we created a rec task by writing everything from scratch. Now in this lecture, we will see how to create a rec task using REST generator. And creating a rec task using REST generator is just like creating a controller or model using generator. So let's generate the first task here. But first before generating the rec task i would like to tell you that uh, what this rec task will do so this is again a simple rec task that will display the count of active record models okay so here i will create a task for each model to display its object count so let's generate the rec task so to generate the rec task first open your terminal and switch to the project directory okay so here you can see that i am at the terminal now what i need to generate that rails generate you can simply use the acronym g rails generate task okay and now what you need to mention that you need to mention the name space and that name space will be active record active record counter okay so rails generate task active record counter and in this active record counter task we will create three tasks let's say students count courses count and blogs count so let's first write the task students count and then courses count and now blocks count blocks count okay. and when you then hit the enter you will see that a task will be generated inside the lib and tasks okay so you can see that lib task active record counter dot rec has been generated now let's see how our task looks like so go to the lib task and open the active record counter dot rec so here you can see that when we generated the task the name space of the task is the active record counter and the description is to do okay for all the tasks and there are three tasks students dot count courses dot counts and blogs dot count okay now what we need to do that we need to implement some logic inside it so since we are just displaying the count of students and courses and blogs or any active record model from our application so we will simply execute a puts command and that puts command will do let's say puts students count equal to now let's say student dot count Similarly, we need to do the same thing for courses and blogs as well. So just paste this here and what we need to do now that we need to remove this students with courses. Remove this as well. And we need to do the same thing here with blogs model. Okay, so now let's do blogs count. Okay. and replace this student with blocks okay. sorry block count okay. now as i mentioned in the last uh, lecture you can write any logic in your rec task depending upon the requirement okay here i will just execute a query which will return the count of each model mentioned in the task okay so it does not mean that you can uh, write rec task for only simple tasks you can write complex query here uh, for example let's say if you want to send emails to already existing users in your application that suppose if you have launched some implemented some feature today okay so you can use rec task to send emails to those or you can use rec task to export or import some data or keep the backup of db okay now it's our time to execute the rec task okay or simply you can change the description of each task as well so let's say uh, change the description okay display the count of okay. so now replace this student here by course course model and this is for blog model okay however this as we already know that description is totally optional you can avoid writing description as well but uh, it's better if you can write description okay so let's save it and now it's time to run the task so what we need to do that rails and then your ta um, name is space name rails you record counter and then students dot count sorry students count Okay, and when you run this task, this will print the total number of students exist in your application. 
okay so here you can see that students count equal to 24 it means we have 24 students in our application similarly you can run the command for your next task let's say courses count courses count okay and when you run this command you will see the total number of courses exist in your application so there are two courses exist now similarly run the command for blogs as well okay. you can see the blogs count here okay so this is how you can create a rec task using rail generator okay now one more command that i am going to show you that you might need here uh, that how many tasks in your environment is or in your namespace is so you can simply run the command let's say rec hyphen t capital and then use the grep command and now just to write your namespace here okay so i will write my namespace here and you will see that how many commands i have here okay so there is some error we need to run rails here because the rake will not work okay so you can see that rails active record counter blocks count and it's a description okay so it will show you that how to execute the task so you will get the list here okay the number of tasks mentioned in your namespace and how to run them run those tasks however we got the error with uh, when we executed this command using rake hyphen t but if you execute this command using bundle execute then you will not get error let's say run this bundle exec and rake hyphen t grab active record counter okay so when you run this command that you will get rake active record counter blocks count active record counter courses count and students count okay and you can also notice one thing that whenever you grab this you will see the tasks available in your namespace in ascending order okay or in lexically lexically sorted order okay so blogs courses and then students okay so that's all from this lecture there is one more thing that we can uh, do with rec task is that we can create task which can accept arguments to run those tasks okay and we will see that in upcoming lectures but but first let's give this lecture a try at your end okay and thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe